Breaking news guys, from the 2019 Chicago Auto Show, Toyota has just unveiled the 2020 Toyota Tacoma. What's changed with the latest Tacoma? Well, of course, the mid-sized truck market is full of competition. There's the brand new Ford Ranger, the Jeep Gladiator is on the way, and of course, you have the Chevy Colorado, the GMC Canyon, the Nissan Frontier, and the Honda Ridgeline all selling in the same competitive segment. So new for 2020, well Toyota has given the Tacoma a number of upgrades and revised some of the exterior design to make it even more competitive. In this video, I'm gonna take you through everything that's new for 2020 with the Toyota Tacoma, including those styling updates that I just mentioned, some performance figures you can expect from the new Tacoma, and last but not least, I'm gonna take you guys through every single trim level and tell you what different updates Toyota has given the Tacoma, trim by trim. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in and talk about some of the bigger changes which have to do with styling. Now, obviously, this is not a new generation for the Tacoma. This is more of a mild refresh, a mid-cycle update for the Tacoma, but with the styling you get a new grill, some updated headlights which include daytime running lights, plus some updated wheels which the style will depend on the trim. The cab and the bed have exactly the same design, but you do get some darker tail light housings. So the styling updates, they're pretty minor, but you can tell looking at the new one compared to the old one that the face has just gotten a little bit of a refresh. What about performance? Well, it's the same exact powertrains as before. The base engine is that 2.7 liter inline four, makes 159 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque. Only transmission option available with the four-cylinder is the six-speed automatic. Then you can move up to the 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6, also a carryover engine. It still makes 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque, but this time you have the choice of two transmissions. First is a six-speed automatic, or you still have the option for the six-speed manual transmission. As was the case with the 2019 Toyota Tacoma, the V6 models still come standard with the towing package, which gets you a towing capacity of 6,800 pounds when properly equipped, a class four hitch with an oil cooler, an automatic transmission cooler, 130 amp alternator, and four and seven pin wiring harness connectors. Moving on to the trim levels. Well, there's obviously six trim levels, just like there were in the previous model year. You still have the SR base trim, the SR5, the TRD Sport, the TRD Off-Road, the Limited, which is like the luxury trim, and the top-end off-roader, the TRD Pro. Starting with the SR base trim, you now have a seven inch touchscreen as standard with, well it has Apple CarPlay and Amazon Alexa like it used to, but it also has Android Auto that's now available on the 2020 Tacoma. You also get Sirius XM radio and optional LED bed lamps, which can help you see a little better in your bed at night. Moving to the SR5, that touchscreen gets a little bit bigger. You now have an eight inch touchscreen unit, standard on the SR5 and up, so all the rest of the trims will get this eight inch screen. You also get unique 16 inch dark satin wheels, and this is really cool, a 10 way power adjustable driver's seat, again on the SR5 and up trims. I think for big guys like me and some of you guys that are watching this at home, the Tacoma is one of those trucks that, well, it could be a little bit hard to get comfortable. And I think that having something like a 10-way power adjustable driver's seat could make it a little bit easier to get comfy in your 2020 Toyota Tacoma. In addition to that power adjustable driver's seat, you also get optional LED headlights with a new style compared to the last model year and a bed lamp once again on the SR5 trim. Moving up to the TRD Sport, those 16 inch wheels turn into 17 inch wheels and you now get something called a panoramic view monitor which is essentially a 360 degree top down camera system plus you have the option for LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. Moving up once again to the TRD off-road trim, well now you get LED fog lights plus some chrome inserts in your tail lamps. You also get something called the multi-terrain monitor, which is a version of that same 360 degree top-down camera. The TRD off-road trim still has Bilstein shocks and a locking rear differential, plus the same multi-terrain select and crawl control features as the 2019 model year. What about the limited trim? Well, like I said, the limited trim is still sort of the luxurious option for the 2020 Toyota Tacoma. As such, you get some bigger wheels, once again, 18 inch rims, 
standard LED headlights and fog lights and that standard 360 degree top down panoramic view monitor. Last but not least guys, we have to talk about the big daddy for off-roaders, the TRD Pro Tacoma. This comes with 16 inch wheels as standard. They're BBS alloys that are forged, but this time they're 4.2 pounds per wheel lighter than last year. Having lighter wheels is super helpful off-road. You lose some unsprung weight, which makes it just a little bit better handling when you're on the trail or even when you're on the road. With the TRD Pro, you also get some Rigid Industries LED fog lamps, that same panoramic and multi-terrain view, 360 degree top-down monitor, plus you get retuned Fox 2.5 inch internal bypass shocks. One more interesting thing for the TRD Pros for 2020, you get a new exclusive TRD Pro color, Army Green, as Toyota is calling it. Well, last but not least, availability and pricing. When will it be on sale and how much is it gonna cost? Unfortunately, Toyota has not made that information available just yet. Of course, that will be coming out sometime in the near future, so you guys are just gonna have to stick around and stay tuned for more info on availability and pricing. There you go guys, that is everything you need to know about the 2020 Toyota Tacoma, the new styling, the performance, and of course, all the tech and features upgrades that Toyota has given it for 2020. Tommy, this is a new 2020 Toyota Tacoma, but I don't think they did enough to stay competitive in one of the most competitive markets in the truck world. No, you're wrong, and you said competitive way too much. Here's the thing about the Tacoma, right? The Tacoma has always been a very well-built, solid truck. And I think that's why a lot of you guys go out there and buy them. You know it's gonna start, you know it's gonna run, and you know it's gonna last for a long time. Tacoma's never been the groundbreaking truck, and this update did just enough to keep it relevant. Speaking of the updates that they did, we should probably lay those out so we have a good foundation for this argument, but you are totally wrong. So what they've done for 2020, very minor refresh. The Tacoma now has some new headlights, they're LEDs, they look a little bit different than the old ones. There's a 360 degree top-down camera, right? Stuff like that, a little tech updates here and there. You have the option of a 10-way power adjustable driver seat, but really, dude, that's about it. I mean, the engine, the transmission, exactly the same. The cab and the bed are exactly the same. The towing figure is exactly the same. I mean, they really haven't changed the truck itself, and I think that's gonna be a problem when, well, the Gladiator comes out in a couple months here and you already have competition like the Ranger and the Colorado that are performing at least from towing figures much better than the Tacoma. Well the Tacoma has been the best-selling truck for a number of years now in its class right? Well, what do you wish they had done? Okay listen so the big thing for me is in performance right I mean you have either the 2.7 liter inline 4 which is a pretty basic engine or the three and a half liter V6, right? Same engines, uh, same transmissions, and the result is you still have a towing capacity of just 6,800 pounds. Here are the, the towing capacities of the biggest competition, I think, coming out in the next few months. We already have the Ranger. That can tow up to 7,500 pounds in the right configuration. The Gladiator, when it comes out, will tow 7,650 pounds in the right configuration. And the Colorado, when you get the diesel in the right configuration, can tow 7,700 pounds. I mean, the Tacoma is almost almost a thousand pounds behind its competition in terms of towing capacity. Yeah, but look at the Ranger, right? 68 to 75, that's what, 700 pounds. I mean, it's down, but it's not like it's 3,000 pounds. And the thing is, Toyota has never been the one to be revolutionary with new tech. Sure. You know, Ranger's got that little turbo engine. Um, Colorado's got the diesel. Uh, essentially, if you look at the Tacoma, you've got two very conservative engines, a 2.7 and a 3.5, but they're well-made engines and they're going to last, and that's why people love the Tacoma. T Toyota has such high bars for quality and for longevity that they don't really need to go out there and blow the market out of the water with big towing numbers and big horsepower numbers. They can do that with just simply making a good, high-quality truck. Now, the things they did add, though, are are relevant toward the segment. Apple CarPlay Android Auto is a necessity yep. um, nowadays. So that's, that's a really big thing they added. 
and um, better headlights. What else, what else do you really need? I want Toyota to come out and say, listen guys, we still run this game. Here's a brand new Tacoma and we've done all this new stuff to it. It's a completely new truck. This is a facelift of the third generation. We're still on the third generation of the Tacoma. Right. Three generations of Tacoma, right? I want to see Toyota come out with a brand new truck, something revolutionary in design and revolutionary in, well, the chassis, the powertrains, all that stuff. I want to see something big and new from Toyota, not just a minor refresh. Look, the, the Tacoma is like a Hershey's bar. It's never going to blow you out of the water, but it's never going to disappoint you. That's how I feel about this current generation Toyota, and that's why they did it enough. No, you're wrong, Michael. Well, I think we have to let the commenters decide who was right and who was wrong uh, because, of course, well, the Tacoma, it's probably still going to sell like hotcakes, let's be honest, right? Uh, but did they do enough to keep it really competitive with the Gladiator, with the Colorado, with the Ranger, even the Ridgeline, even the Frontier? Did they do enough? Let us know down below. For the Fastlane Truck, I'm Mike Curtis. Yep, and I'm Tommy. Go back to tfltruck.com for more fun news and brand new Tacoma views because uh, we got it all coming at the Chicago Auto Show this year. Indeed, yeah, we're going to have a lot of videos going up. We'll see you guys next time.